Hey guys, this is Death by Big Numbers, and recently I was reading through a book of mine by Yoshihitu Isogawa, and it's a really clever book full of all sorts of different interesting Lego mechanisms. And near the end, there was these sections on these things that he called Lego modules, and they're essentially little 5x5 five five units that you can plug together, and they transfer power in different ways with awesome outputs like these ones. And I was super intrigued by this idea, and I thought, hey, I'm going to make some of these myself. And so I did. Um, and they're really satisfying to make, because make them really quickly, make like 10 of them, plug them all together in an awesome way. Of course, occasionally something like this will happen. So let's go through what all the modules do. So this first one here is a clutch module, and essentially what that means is the motor sends power into it, and the majority of the time it should be sending the power straight on to the rest of the system. But what I can actually do is I can pull the motor backwards, now the clutch is unengaged, right? And now the system can spin, or the motor can spin, independently of the rest of the system. So then the power goes on in this module here. This module was written by the author of the book, and it's really clever, because what it actually does is it sends two independent streams of power. And I won't go into exactly how it does it, but essentially it can send power through there, and they can also send power like that. And those two streams of power don't have to interact with each other, and they can be turning at different speeds or different directions, or one's not turning at all. This one here, although I'm very proud of, this is one of my designs, and it's actually a double module. It takes up two module spots. And what it does is it raises and lowers this platform here, which makes your marble roll back and forth. And the way it does that is essentially when it, it spins, see that's where the clutch comes in handy, when it spins, it moves that little bit there, which raises and lowers this platform. And it's actually been geared down so that it spins slower, so that the ball has time to roll to both ends of the platform. So anyways, next up we have this little module here, which simply turns a corner and speeds up the mechanism again so it's at its normal speed instead of remaining geared down there. Next up, the power goes into this fan, which uh, sends power in all of these directions while at the same time spinning the fan. The first thing it sends power to is this little uh, beam here which gets raised and lowered by a simple wheel. And this module here, which again splits off into more directions, uh, it's, it spins this guy around and based off of his spatial expression. I'm pretty sure he's being worried about being thrown onto the fan. And then it also sends power through our module that can take power in two different directions, remember? And it goes into this module here, which I'm really proud of, which raises and lowers all of these beams, a bit like an engine. And then again, it goes into a power slowing module, which slows down the power for this uh, Mario plant, I guess, the sort that raises out the tube and eats you. And so yeah, that's how these work. Um, my next video on these modules, I'm going to be doing a couple of quick speed builds on how to make some of them. Don't forget to like and subscribe.